he gave me the vision of the cockroaches in the mouth again. And then he said, some of my prophets um, are, um, some of my prophets prophesy lies. So he gave me the dream and it was gonna lead to this word. And this is a massive warning right now for the prophetic movement. That's what this word is. The devil did not want me getting it out yesterday. He literally tried everything to not get my, let my video work, not let it process. I mean, you're talking mass interference. And so um, he said, some of my prophets are prophesying lies. Many in the prophetic movement have prophesied lies in my name. They have jumped on bandwagons. They have prophesied, they had prophesied what itching ears wanted to hear. To keep hype going and views and subscribers. They are prophesying lies just as those did in the days of Jeremiah 14, 14. They are not speaking for me. They are speaking unclean things. Things that are not pure and coming from purity in the spirit. They um, are uh, man-pleasing words. My words from me will not be manipulated. What's true is true. Um, no man or woman of God can add to it or take away. Um, can add to it or take away. But these prophets are not speaking what heaven is speaking. These are not heaven sent words. These are man made words to promote an agenda. And they are no better than the fake news that they speak of and uh, speak against, basically. This um, is a warning to all those known prophets, he put in quotations, who have mixed um, and allowed unclean spirits and dirtiness from this world to infiltrate their prophetic words and what their ministry releases on the earth. They have added the ways of the world into my call and my ways. As I have looked upon these prophets who say they prophesy in my name, I see a mouth full of cockroaches and dirty spirits at work. My true prophets must reflect my heavenly agenda on the earth and all that my heart is speaking, not what the world is speaking and shouting. They cannot be a reflection of the culture or the media. I will not be found there. I have never left my position. I'm still seated high above. I'm still on the throne. I'm still on the throne. My prophets must reflect this heavenly reality, not reflect being a response to politics, culture, or worldly ways. Those are earthly distractions. You are to fight from above, not below. It is time for all my prophets to humble themselves and bring themselves back into the Holy of Holies and allow me to take the coal and cleanse their lips. And they need to receive a fresh anointing of the glory upon their lips and their call for purity in this season and the seasons ahead.